I was boondocking in southern New Mexico and the day I was supposed to travel up towards Roswell to Bottomless Lakes State Park there was a high wind warning posted for that day. Uh, I think the wind was supposed to be something like gusts up to 60 miles an hour and I'm not driving in that. I'm just, I just won't drive in that. So I decided to leave my boondocking spot a day early and head up to the general area of the state park. I found this place, I found this place, which is Lake Van in the small town of Dexter, New Mexico. I mean, this place, you guys, is a gem. It's beautiful, it's peaceful, and I'm just walking underneath these beautiful willow trees. You can disperse camp here, or you can camp with full hookups. It's your choice. And in the dispersed camping area, you have these beautiful willow trees. I love it. I'm just like a week early, I think. Look at these trees. On this side of my RV and on the other side. So let me tell you about Lake Van. It's in the small town of Dexter, New Mexico, which I think I mentioned already. And looking at my notes here, this is a great place to stop for an overnight camp. Beautiful, wonderful place. It's about a 50 acre lake. You can fish here. Also, you can boat, kayak, canoe here for a fee. Fishing is also for a fee. You can camp with full hookups, electric water and sewer. And the camping for full hookups is $15 a day. Also, you can disperse camp, which is what I decided to do here. That's $9 a day. And you pay your fees in advance when you arrive at a drop box if they're closed, or you can pay if there's somebody in the office directly to the person. You can disperse camp anywhere around the lake, and there is also a designated camping area for dispersed camping, which is what I'm using underneath the willow trees. I don't see a lot of trash. I mean, it's a municipal park. Occasionally there'll be something, but it's great. They have trash cans at all the picnic shelters, and they have a dumpster over by the entrance. Also very safe. It's patrolled by the police. Whenever I see police patrolling an area, I feel that much safer myself. So I find that to be a plus. Dog friendly, which is why we're here. Dogs on leash are welcome. I should also remind you there is a generator quiet time here, which is 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. No generators at that time. But you guys, all in all, I find this place to be really nice. It's so peaceful. And even though we're dispersed camping, dry camping, if you will, around the lake, we're not over with the other campers on the other side of the lake. We're just by ourselves over here. But we're not alone, which I kind of, as a woman camping alone, I find this actually kind of good. There are some beautiful homes right across the road from where I'm camping. I mean, I feel pretty safe here. I really do. Had a really good night's sleep. Woke up to a lovely view of the lake, the ducks, lots of birds. Now, as I mentioned, there is a neighborhood around the lake. There is a neighborhood that pretty much goes around, looks like two, three sides of the lake. So you are kind of in a neighborhood and I would keep that in mind. You know, being quiet, being a good neighbor, that kind of stuff. And please pick up after your dogs, as always. When you come to these small towns to camp, don't forget to spend a little money in town. Um, I do try to at least top off my gas tank or stop and get a few groceries, you know, contribute to the economy a little bit. But all in all, nice place. Check it out. We just made it to our camp spot in uh, Bottomless Lakes outside of Roswell, New Mexico. Seconds, literally seconds before a big thunderstorm hit. Amazing timing, but I'm not hooking up or opening the slide just yet. Check it out. Just in the nick of time. That looks pretty nasty out there. That tent is about to go and take flight. Whoops. Well, actually, maybe not. They got it staked down. And now it's hailing. Oh, I hope my rig's okay. It's yucky. I'm so glad we got here when we did, but it's definitely hailing. Look at that.
I really am enjoying this lifestyle. I hope that we can continue to do this and whether or not we do will be dependent on the success of our channel and all the cool things I have planned for this. I have a lot of great, well, I think great ideas that will build on what we're doing here. But right now is just all about building up an audience, getting to know you guys that are watching me and to all of my friends out there, my dog friends and family members and friends without dogs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are huge supporters and definitely it's cool. It's cool that you're there and um, special shout out to Crystal, you know who you are, for always commenting on my YouTube videos which helps a lot. That helps as you know with the algorithm with YouTube. So thank you. We all know it's important to stop and take a water break when we're hiking with our dogs. And on that water break, of course, you need water, a water dish, shade, and if shade isn't available, you can always use your shadow or a backpack, a sight line, and of course, some rest. So what is a sight line? Why is it important? Well, check this out. So taking a water break on a trail, I think it's a good idea to take the break where you can see the trail in both directions. Just enough that if somebody were coming, especially with dogs, you would be able to organize yourself and your dogs before they get to you. So nobody gets surprised. Surprise dogs sometimes don't go well. So there you have it. A sight line helps you prepare yourself and your dogs for approaching hikers or approaching hikers with other dogs. You can get yourselves in order and organized and prevent surprises. Get out there and hike with your dogs. Mm -hmm.